Hi everyone, welcome back to Take A Review. Now it's been a while since I've uploaded any new content to my channel. I've been really busy and not had a great deal of time to sit, sit down and create new videos. But today we're going to be taking a look at the new SenseCap M1 Helium Hotspot Miner. Now if you want to know a little bit more about the Helium Network and the People's Network, I'll leave some links in the description below. But today we're going to unbox this, see what we get inside, get it set up, and see how well it actually starts mining some helium for us. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so here we have the sense cap that's just arrived today. This is the sense cap M1. Just a plain, plain black box. So let's get it open and see what we get inside. So on top, we've got the getting started guide, which there are just six steps to getting started. Okay, this is the actual helium hotspot itself. On the back, so that's where our antenna connects to USB C type power and an Ethernet port. Now, I don't know if you can make out in there there's actually some USB ports now essentially this is a Raspberry Pi um, so inside there is a, a Raspberry Pi which is the point where you can see the little USB ports there. A little fan underneath now I believe this is a 2.8 dBi antenna which just simply connects onto the back there then we are good to go with that and last but not least our plug but this is a European plug and not a UK plug. So the only downside is I've got to get an adapter. I do have one, um, but I'll end up probably getting uh, a better adapter. But this is the the European adapter, which is not going to be very helpful in the UK. But it does sort of tell me what adapter I need there. So I can easily go and buy one of those, not a problem. But I've got enough to get it set up and get going. Okay, so next step is we need to download the Helium app, connect it to the, the hotspot, and then let it sync up. Now, I've been told that syncing can take around about a day. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll come back and check the status uh, a bit later on. Adding the hotspot to the Helium network is really simple. First thing you need to do is actually download the Helium app either from the Google Play Store or the Apple uh, Store. Once you've done that and created your account, you just basically go into the app and add a hotspot. Then you just need to scroll down, find your make of hotspot. So for ours, this is going to be the SenseCap M1. There are a few instructions about placing. Don't hide the hotspot under you know, a desk or anything like that. Don't use any sort of like screen shields for your window or anything like that. So you want to basically get the best possible signal for your for the hotspot. Now once you've done that, a few more things you have to have to read. Power it on. Now on the back there is a little blue light. 
uh, basically the next to that is a little button you push that so it starts sort of slow flashing and then you can continue it's then going to go and find your hotspot and then basically it's going to set it up insert your location and start syncing with the network now here I've actually got a bunch of uh, Wi-Fi networks in my area. I'm actually going to use an Ethernet cable instead. So I actually won't be using any of these networks here, but you can do it if, if you wish. Once you've done that, it's going to ask for permission to use your location to set up the hotspots location. So it knows where you are or where this hotspot is in the world. So go ahead and click on the ask for, for, ask for permission. You can set this up later. My hotspot's obviously going to stay in its location now, so I'm setting this up now. Once it's worked out where you are, you can then set your location. Once it's done that, I've approximated the height in meters, which is about seven meters, which basically the hotspot is going to ultimately go in the attic. Uh, as I've got some networking up there, so that's where it's going to go. So I'll put seven meters, uh, which is really at the top of the house, and I'm hoping to get um, an external uh, antenna at some point as well. So when you've entered all that information, you just click on next again. Now the location fee should already be paid for you. So you then just need to click on register hotspot. And that is it done. Now the next stage of syncing to the network can take some time. I've read people sort of saying it can take 10 hours, anything up to a couple of days. So this is a bit where you need to be patient. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. I will be doing some follow-up videos over the coming days and weeks just to show you my progress, how I'm getting on, how long it took to sync, and I will be adding a uh, antenna to this uh, a bit later on, which is also going to go uh, on the roof, and I'll be doing some more videos on that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.